Plow's coming in with three ice golems, a regular golem, and 20 rocket balloons for this one. The warden with the hero, so if they don't make it to the town hall, then he has no backup plan for it. He's got rocket balloons coming in from the right side. Rocket balloons over on the left side will go snipe off those defenses. And he held on to a rage. And he can do a blizzard in the middle of all of this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He'll throw all in the middle of the face. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Today is week three of the LEGO International Cup. We have two teams that we know and love. It's Method to Madness versus the Queen Walker. So if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to use code Eric and let's dive right in to Gaku. Kicking us off here with a Queen Charge Hybrid. Going right in, grabbing out a bomb tower and then rounding the corner for another bomb tower here. And he's going to be wall breaking into the town hall, delaying his healers for quite a while here. He had the last he worked with the queen, just provided her a little bit of tanking, decided to not go with the unicorn. The unicorn is currently attached to the royal champion, and he'll take out the town hall after taking out the bomb towers, engage the enemy king. Headhunter comes down to help him deal with that enemy king, and he'll be able to work his way to pick off some of the buildings in the bordering compartment there. He's got another super wall breaker here. He rages up the queen, but has to go to ability. A little bit late on that rage. A little bit unfortunate there, but uh, we'll see if he can make this work here. Is he will get the CC pulled now? That's the primary thing here. We need to, in a Queen Charge Hybrid attack, we need to have the Queen deal with the CC and take out at least one major defense while thinning the path of the minus here. And the compartment that they're going to be entering into is actually a pretty thin area that is going to be left behind because the Queen reaching over the wall there, picking off the Expos, grabbing out the Sweeper and taking out the RC, all going to help her move into an area of safety here in a moment while also thinning out the path of the miners with the King working on the outside. They're going to have a straight shot in towards the Eagle Artillery and this Multi-Inferno. So we'll have to see how they split here upon arrival to the middle of the base here. But he's going to be taking some Eagle Strikes. He'll ward ability through those and also catches all the miners that are going into the middle of the base as well. The Queen actually continuing all the way out and around. She's got a wall break that's going to get her into this Eagle or this uh, scatter shot over on the left side. And she's going to continue to pick up some good value after leaving the Town Hall compartment. He'll freeze over there to protect her to ensure that she's able to take that scatter shot down because she's out of resources to be able to protect herself so if she takes that he's in a really really good spot here the miners doing work on the outside edge of the base they're working with the king most of the hogs are starting to die out now as they get fed into that multi-inferno but a lot of troops are still alive he still has the royal champion with her unicorn intact and he's looking really really strong here Maybe he did have the road champion and I, I just lied to you. But he's going to take down that multi for no one way or another. And he's got a, just an enormous amount of troops left alive here. It's going to be an easy, clean sweep here for Gaku to kick us off here in week three of the Lego International Cup. Nice, beautiful attack here from Gaku. That was clean. Ben, live against Klaus. Here we go. You got a P.E.K.K.A. Smash, a super P.E.K.K.A. Smash here with... Uh, Four P.E.K.K.A.s and five Super Wizards, but not really a lot outside of that for the army here. But he will be trying to board and walk out the Town Hall. If he can board and walk the Town Hall, then he can free up a blimp and replace it with the Siege Barracks and get a lot of additional troops here. But there are a lot of battle builders behind the Town Hall. We start to see Tessa start to pop up, so may or may not be able to get to. He's got that minion working over there, picking up that storage, that down. Gordon trying to work his way in, but the battle builder is going to go to work here. I'm surprised he didn't bring an earthquake just to hit that town hall and tie up all these battle builders on their own huts because they're all going to be countering this warden and slow him down a lot. It's going to cost him some time. We'll have to see if time ends up being an issue in the end, but uh, we'll definitely have to keep a close eye on that clock here as the warden walks for over a minute here. And now he's ready to go for the next phase attack here. The warden will pick off that Tesla. He will have that expo on him as he starts to work his way in the base so he may need to freeze that expo to get it off of the warden to get the healer transfer he'll rage up and start his way in a couple headhunters will come down and the warden steps up nicely all the way covering the pekkas covering everything on the entry there the king doing good work on the top side pops his ability 
as the pack is in really good tanky positions to cover all the wizards on the outside keeping them protected the it looks like a Valkyrie and three witches come out of his siege barracks. The Road Champion will join up with that and try to push her way in. He's got the enemy Road Champion engaged there. Just needs to get the enemy King out of the way before his Road Champion draws its attention. It looks like he gets that now. It's onto the Pekka's. The RC will help pick that off and then move into the Multi Inferno. Healers are in a good spot there. They step into the right there. They hit a couple of red bombs, but they're still healthy. Gets the scatter shot down. The Queen was able to take that out. A couple of Black Mines going off in the middle. Now take out some healers. But they're still looking healthy as well. The Witches has split between the outside and the inside of the base there. I'm attacking the greatest wall. They could literally just walk through the jump and go around to the channel there, but they decided they want to attack the wall because these are the smartest witches in the game right there, but he's looking good to go into the single inferno. He loses one Pekka, but gets it down with the next one. He's got the RC sweep at the backside. She still has her ability. He's only got to face the clock here to finish the triple. He's got plenty of fours and he's got 30 seconds. He's looking good here. And even though he ward walked for over a minute, He's got plenty to clean it up, and it's a triple for Method to Madness. The, the witches finally break the wall there, and they'll get into this last storage. Absolutely overwhelmed the last little bit of the base here, and Method to Madness ties the Queen Walkers and starts off even. Keep it rolling. Stadra coming against Love. We've got another Pekka Smash. Stadra. Very well known to be one of the best smash attackers in the world here. This has an eye for it. He'll be starting in with a warden walk to take out the eagle artillery. And then he can start to cross the base here towards this uh, town hall. But I don't think he wants to go all the way to it. Maybe even ends up going south here after the eagle artillery and go to the scatter shots first and then sending the blimp across the base. Definitely has a couple different options here. He decides he is going to go at the town hall. Now, if the king could get fallen to the town hall, he could actually get in there and potentially take it. If he can get some cover from the golem and the pekkas to come down. Now, the golem is a very, very key point to this attack here. The golem will have a big enough HP pool that it'll draw the fire of an eagle artillery that is still up, but he didn't leave the eagle artillery up, which is making me wonder why he decided to bring the golem anyways because sometimes it can uh, steal the healers and then stay behind and it can cause some problems here if you're not bothering to use it as a eagle tank there but i mean it's still gonna get some good value all the way in here he rages up again as he goes to the core of the base there's the board ability everything is grouped together his queen still looking really good in the middle of the base here she'll engage the enemy road champion here as she's stuck in the tornado trap but the king doing good work on the outside he took out the town hall and now he's got yetis that are coming out of his siege barracks on the outside of the base he lost his witches as they path through the town hall poison but he's just got to get to this enemy there's a backside scatter shot and he's got it under control the pekkas break the wall and they move into the final compartment as the yetis step into the multi inferno jeez this is absolutely crushed <laughs> yeah no contest this one is done there's a lot of troops and they're all going at the last remaining defenses collapsing in from every direction here this one is completely blown out of the park here swag queen ability he swags the freeze and swags the invisibility <laughs> clean attack here from Sadra and the queen walkers will force another triple here from method of madness if they want to stay even method of madness had they had three teams they had the method of madness team here they had uh, their other one out of Japan who just got signed onto Affiliate Esports and they booted all the other Affiliate Esports players out and they completely replaced the team with new players. And so they're really good. And then you also have the Method of Madness Spain team that is also really, really good there that uh, features some really, really good players uh, that we've seen play for like Team Queso in the past. So really some incredible talent coming out of the Method of Madness name and uh now spreading to other orgs a little bit there but uh world top korea definitely has always been a really really powerful clan with a lot of really really talented players but they were definitely a big pickup here for method to madness to uh sign them so we got a looks like a skybrid attack coming on this one look at this he's got a blizzard in the middle of this he's gonna go into the eagle artillery i wouldn't be surprised if he sails a blimp all the way into the CC compartment and then does a blizzard in the middle of the dragons here. So he's looking good here. Here comes the blimp to sail across the base. He's not going all the way to the town hall with it. He's got all those invisibility and he held on to a rage and he can do a blizzard in the middle of all of this. He's got it. 
is going to get stalled by the sweeper just a little bit there, but he, he drops just shy of the town hall compartment and makes it invisible, rages it up. He still has more rages and heal spells that he can use for the other dragons as they sweep around and meet him at the end of the base, but honestly, you can swag him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, bye base. The base is gone. <laughs> I'm sitting there talking up to how talented they are and then he comes in and does a blizzard in the middle of the dragons <laughs> that, was, that was absolutely crushed here Like the base is gone and he's still how many spells does he have left over? He's got Six spell slots worth of spells here left over and an RC ability The RC was basically swag. You'll throw it all in the middle of the base <laughs> Jeez grab a screenshot of that. That is ridiculous <laughs> Oh boy. All right. Well, that that was cool. <laughs> Poor Stadra. Face got deleted exactly. <laughs> Stars live from the Queen Walkers. We've got a Blizzard Lalo, and we'll see if he does it similarly to how <laughs> Method of Madness did it there. PSW, obviously a very very good player, and excited to see what he comes up with. But uh, let's see what Stars has for us now. We got okay go into the single inferno compartment with this blizzard then in the hound out in front there is he going all the way to the town hall compartment maybe is the okay he drops he drops before going to the town hall compartment he made the single inferno invisible for now the chains through the expo turns back and now he gets the single inferno to be not invisible Wizards will spread to where the expo was. Everything looking good. Very, very good placement on this invisibility here. But he will clear out a chunk of the CC troops there. At least got the headhunters out of the way. And he'll poison up the super minions and just kind of anchor them down here in the poison for a moment. He didn't get the archers inside of the poison, but he'll drop in a balloon and the queen will deal with the archers. The poison will finish off the super minions. And with no headhunters to deal with, he's looking really good here. The queen, with that wizard funneling her, should go south to the town hall. There's a couple of balloons with the baby dragon to form the funnel beyond the town hall, and he could have the king go join with the queen, although she's under very minimal damage in the area all the way onto her approach to the town hall. So as long as she goes into the base, which I think that she will, he can free up the king to go get something else, and he's going to send the king. He's got him funneled to go in the right-hand corner to go into the royal champion and the scatter shot over there. Queen looking good here. She goes in. Perfect. Okay. Nice uh, thread in the needle to get her in. He sends the Royal Champion in between the King and the Queen. And how far can she go into the base here? She's got that extra invisibility spell that was left over from the Blizzard that he ended up not using. His King was able to get the enemy RC and the enemy scatter shot down over there. He starts in the Lalo, just blinking in that whole left side of the base here with a big Lalo charging its way into the scatter shot and the Multi Inferno while the Ward ability is active. A haste will come down, and that uh, hasted balloons will surge their way directly into the. Multi Inferno in the middle of the base area. He'll heal up upon arrival to the middle base. The RC is still alive. She's going to join up with the Lalo as they work their way to the Eagle Artillery. Freeze up the Tesla farm and hit the haste, and it's over. Stars with a triple here. A swag invisibility and a swag haste. And neither of these teams are letting up in this war. Both of these bases on both sides are just getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> this is a really, really crazy war here with how just completely overwhelming they are with these attacks but this is crazy guys he uh needs to go back for this collector here but he's got plenty of time to do so it's another triple for the queen walkers and they're gonna force method madness to triple again if they want to stay pace let's go lg coming in against stars return and fire here let's see if we can get it done with a a blizzard dragon rider attack okay going after the town hall look at the Okay, I like this here. If the super wizards hit the town hall, they chain through and hit the inferno beyond it. But we dropped in that uh, quake a little bit early. Only if we do that, we put in the quake before we, or we put it in after the town hall has already taken all the hits. And that makes so that you end up taking out the, uh, the inferno beyond it. But he has all the battle bills right there. Huh. Okay, maybe that was a mistake here. He's gonna have to deal with the single inferno now. But he did make sure that town hall went down and he'll charge the queen in. There's actually 
the skeleton spell out there in front of the queen. Maybe, maybe he didn't expect to get that single down. I, I guess the way that he did that, there's not really a way to, that it would have gone down, but maybe he was planning for it. I don't know. It's hard to tell. He'll make the Aurora champion invisible. She'll work her way in to try to get the scatter shot down and assist the queen here. But the queen under heavy fire there from the queen, the scatter shot and the single inferno will get the queen and the scatter shot down. We'll grab out the sweeper. Oh, we'll leave the single inferno up, I believe. Yeah, he's going to leave that single inferno up. There's nothing you can do to get that down right now. Would have loved to have that single inferno down up there, but he starts in the dragon riders in from the bottom of the base here. And the dragon riders are going to have to take the entire base. And they have a long way to go here. Huh. I, I wonder if he expected the queen to go all the way to the multi inferno in the middle of the base. He's got the heal spell and he's got the freezes to, to make his way through it. So he's okay with that. He'll freeze it up for now. And he heals. And he's catching pretty much every dragon rider inside of that heal spell as well. That's looking good. They get its way into the air defense pretty quickly here. Get that down before it causes too much damage. He's got one more air defense and still has a single inferno on the backside. He'll freeze up the sweeper and he'll freeze up the scatter shot, but he'll leave the air defense standing. I don't think he's going to go through. I think this is going to be our first miss of the war here, guys. LG coming up short and the Queen Walkers take our first lead. They'll drop in the minions and try to overwhelm this archer tower and pick up as much as he can here. He's got a lot of time to do a little bit more cleanup, and one Dragon Rider is still standing. We'll try to pick out that bomb tower, but he's not going to make it through much further here. It is going to go into the mid to high 80s, and it's going to be our first defense of the war. Stars, hold strong on this one. Definitely need that single inferno to go down. I think it was the mistake there with the early quake that cost him the difference there. I think if he got the single inferno down, the queen would have picked up a bit more value, maybe pushed all the way to the multi inferno, which would have thinned out the path thing and kept the dragon riders a little bit tighter into the heal spell and maybe even mid so they could have healed a little bit later and saved a freeze. Klaus is live against PSW. Let's see if he can top his attack. And look at this, guys. <laughs> all right, guys. Klaus coming in with three ice golems. A regular golem and 20 rocket balloons for this one. He'll start him with the blimp. Sends in a couple rocket balloons to trigger traps in front of it. And he'll go all the way into the eagle artillery. Lots and lots of traps going out there. But the rocket balloons were able to trigger a handful of them. As a yeti bomb. And it will take out the eagle artillery and form a bit of a funnel here. While pulling the CC. He ended up getting the headhunters down through the, the yetis there. And now he can come in with this queen. Now he's gonna have to go for a big push on the base here. If he's going in with the heroes with all these golems and ice golems, he needs to push all the way across, take this Molten Inferno and take the town hall. He pushes the king to go down on the base here to go join with the queen. The queen fights out the CC. She has her unicorn topping her off. He's got a wizard around the corner. He had a couple of rocket balloons come in to go funnel the heroes into the base. He's putting in the warden with the hero, so if they don't make it to the town hall, then he has no backup plan for it. The rocket balloons would not have enough punch on their own to go take that town hall down. So the heroes have to go in there and take it. The RC joins in with the other heroes here. He's just doing all four heroes in a pile with the jump spell to go into the multi inferno compartment. And they all have to work together here and maximize the effectiveness of this warden ability to get the entire core of the base cleared out here. He's going to be able to reach the scatter shot from that compartment as well. The queen will pick up the air defense over by the town hall. He'll immediately drop in a baby dragon to start to clear out the edge. He's got the queen onto the town hall now. She'll pop her ability. Nope. Did not pop her ability. She's just under a rage. She takes the town hall down. No big deal. He makes all of the heroes invisible. Every single hero, except for now the RC who's left out, was inside of that invisibility spell and all got protected. He'll freeze up the enemy queen to work his way through her. He's got rocket balloons coming in from the right side, protecting that baby dragon to continue working on the cleanup. The RC still pushing through, freezes up to protect her. Rocket balloons over on the left side. We'll go snipe off those defenses. No more air targeting defenses on the edge of the base. And he's only got arch towers on the back side as the, as the RC sweeps through, takes out the air defense. Two more rocket balloons onto each of the arch towers. One for the Wizard Tower, and it's absolutely crushed. Klaus from the Queen Walkers ripping this base up here with a mass rocket balloon kill squad attack with that Yeti blimp to set it up. Absolutely brilliant. And this is what we expect out of Klaus. He just stole the thumbnail attack of the war. That was brilliant. And that is crushed. Nice hit. That unfortunately puts Method of Madness into a tough position where 
They have to triple this attack here. If they miss either of their next two attacks, they're out. And they need to hold a defense against Yuda under 88%. So the Queen Markers have him on the ropes here, but Love has not given up. He's coming in with a Queen Charge. No, it's me. A Warden Walk. And going right into a single Inferno with his Warden Walk. Kind of dangerous. <laughs> and the Royal Champion right there as well. If he ends up locking on the Royal Champion before he locks onto the single Inferno, he could be in a, a really, really difficult spot here. But he sends in the balloons to go and assist and he does get the single inferno down and he gets down the rc raged up that warden to make sure that he got through that quickly and he was able to almost one shot that warden or the, that rc i mean with his warden he's got the king coming to the top edge here he pulls the uh, warden back into action here but the warden is getting targeted by that ground expo so he's gonna have a lot of damage on him and he's not gonna be able to get the heal transfer until that expo goes down or is froze he's got the eagle artillery Engaged by the king, but he's had to fight through the enemy king. He's got the super wizards actually chaining from the adjacent compartment, compartment taking out all those Teslas and doing some good work there. His queen will reach over the wall as well and help out. He's got the CC pulled. He's got that blimp sail in the bottom of the base here at the town hall. And it looks like he reached that town hall successfully. The jump is carrying everything through, but the super wizards and the queen are locked onto the hound right now. They're gonna have to clean up the pups. He drops in the bats directly on top of the scatter shot on the left side. Nothing can really reach it over there. And so it'll sweep that out there and then it'll start to wrap into the battle builders here while the Pekkas are providing tanking on all the defenses in that area. Also currently holding the tension of the scatter shot, making so the bats can make their approach pretty seamlessly. He's got ice golems that have survived out in front of the queen over in the top corner of the base there freezes up the scatter shot as the tanking starts to relieve there and he'll freeze up the enemy queen as well freezes up the wizard tower he's got so many freezes he still has an rc ability and he's got it it's a triple all day long love for method of madness we'll pass it back to the queen walkers and yuda will try to take away their opportunity with this final attack here but the door is open, they have their opportunity, and this base is absolutely smashed. The caliber of attacks during this war has been absolutely stellar. And I'm just excited for more. Let's keep it rolling, guys. Let's see who can win this war. Like, it's kind of weird what he is uh, trying to do here. Because I don't know that it would have worked. I think it was uh, a flaw in the plan here. But if the battle builders heal up the Inferno, then they stop it from going down. So he has to quake early to get the battle bros to repair their own huts. But at the same time, he can't put the quake onto the town hall until it's got full chains through and the town hall has already gone down. So what he needed to do there was actually quake to hit the inferno and the battle builders, but not hit the town hall. That was his mistake there. So a critical, critical mistake there that is currently putting them behind in the war, but we're live with the next one. Let's see if he can uh, make this happen. As Yuda comes in to try to close it out here. If he gets above an 88%, then it's over. Let's see if he can get it done. If he triples, it's definitely over. But he's gonna go in here with a Queen Charge Lalo attack, coming in opposite of the Town Hall on this one. Drops in the healers and waits a little bit there until the Queen Gets into a better angle of approach here, so she can have a more direct approach in the base. He drops in the stone slammer. Okay. What? Oh, okay. He drop <laughs> Why did he use a stone slammer? He drops some balloons out of the stone slammer with a dragon rider there. He gets the enemy queen down, and he did get the wall open. The dragon rider. Did he get that multi down? Not quite. He didn't get the multi down, but uh, where's his queen gonna go now? She has the walls open. She could go in there. He could actually send the king in to go after. He sends in the royal champion, though. It was interesting to use a stone slammer right there. I feel like a wall wrecker or a log launcher would have been more effective. But, I mean, let's see what he can do with it. He's got uh, the top corner funneled out. There's a couple of archers were working up there that I see that uh, end up dying now. He ends up... Popping the hound here, but was under heavy fire and has to go invisible. RC was able to clear at the bottom corner. She's gonna get stuck on some of the hound's pups right now as uh, she went down. Oh, she's no, that she's not. She's done down there. She's done. All right, well, he rages up again. He'll try to get to this uh, Grand Warden statue, he's still causing problems. And he's gonna be rounding around this multi inferno, but he's got a jump spell. So if he can angle the jump here to make sure the Queen's healers don't get targeted, he can continue to pick up value, but he's out of spells. He's used up every single one of his spells, and he still has to make his approach to the town hall and two scatter shots. Ah, uh, I wonder if he. Uh oh. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble here. 
What? Oh no, what is... Oh, what is happening? He's got two more. There's no way. This is a fail. Hands down, it's a fail. But how does he... How does he get the town hall? Why did he use the stone slammer so early? Now he's running a Tesla farm and has to fight a sweeper. Oh, jeez. Oh, Yuta, don't one star. I don't think he can get this town hall down. Nice jump. <laughs> Come on, Yuta. You jump those balloons in the town hall. Jump them in. Take it. Oh, rip. The sweeper's not going to let him in. He's going to get wrecked. I don't know what the plan was. I don't, I, I'm shocked. I don't understand what his plan was, but it's a one star. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. Okay. They're not out though. They're not done. That makes it a little bit easier for Method to Madness. However, a 73... Oh my god, what a... What, a throw, what happened there, Yuna? All right. 88. 73. So that means... That now... Instead of the Queen Walkers needing an 88% two-star to lock in the win... Now, Method of Madness only needs an 85% to lock in the win. The whole war just swung on his head here, and we are live with the final attack. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe that we just witnessed what we witnessed. I, I'm shocked. I don't know that I've ever seen you to fail attack that hard. I feel, like, I feel like he misclicked and dropped the stone slammer with the queen and i don't think he was supposed to go there and then he just went into panic mode or something i don't know but that was a big miss there for the queen walkers and it's going to set up a massive opportunity here for method of madness he's going for dragons and dragon He's going for a hydra attack he's got a lot of freezes here and he'll charge directly at the town hall and try to get into the core of the base Raging up the dragon side by side rages. Freeze up the sweeper. Rage up the town hall drop. They'll get the town hall down. The king and the queen work on the outside. He needs an 86% for the win. 85% for the tie. He'll heal up the dragons as they work their way into the multi inferno. You got the RC coming in from the right side. You're gonna take out the air defense before the dragons start to get shot by it. Dragons are onto the eagle artillery. They're gonna take that down. Everything looking good here. He's got another 15 seconds or 15% to go. There's the RC ability. I'm shocked that this just swung this hard. Ladies and gentlemen, the Queen Walkers go perfect the entire war and then throw it on the final attack. It is a triple for Method to Madness and they're gonna win it on stars and a completely unexpected swing of the war. I honestly don't know what happened with Yuta. Wow. <laughs> I'm in shock. I am in shock that Method of Madness takes the win. And they got the 14 stars. So it only makes sense that he meant to drop in a headhunter and accidentally dropped in the stone slammer because it didn't make sense that he dropped in the stone slammer right there. That hurts. That is devastating here. But yeah, that should have been a headhunter. And then he immediately dropped in a headhunter behind it. So that's really, really unfortunate. A critical mistake there that cost him the entire war. That's a rough way to go down here after just dominating the entire war. But if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Clash of Clans esports. And I guess you never know what's going to happen. Crazy war.